My name is Greg LaPiccolo. I live in Newfane, Vermont, and I develop music software. I grew up about 50 miles west of here, was sort of a music fan growing up. I had sort of music in my head. I was interested in music, but, uh, but I didn't have any skills. Well, I got to college and they had just started working with like basically hooking computers up to synthesizers. You could, you know, use computers to help you make music if you didn't know how to play. That wasn't a job in 1983, you know, that you could make music with computers and get paid for it. So I moved to Boston and then learned how to play bass, like well enough to be in a band. Please join me in welcoming from Boston, Tribe. <laughs> And we got a record deal and sort of turned into, you know, a Boston band of some repute. But we were totally one of those kind of bands that, you know, we tried to, to make the jump from the, a local band to a national band and we did not really succeed. And a friend of mine, he was making a Sega Genesis game and they knew my band, they had seen my band. And he approached me and said, would you be able to write music for my Sega Genesis game? Uh, and I said, I'll try, and I you know, figured it out. And so we wrote a score for this game called Bimini Run, which is this like obscure little game. And then I got recruited by a friend of mine who was in the, in the computer game industry to, uh, to write music for a computer game. And I got hired by a company called Looking Glass Studios. And so I started writing music for this game called System Shock. This was 1993, 94. So that studio pioneered a number of sort of technical and design innovations in games which are still going strong today. But I had no idea, I didn't know anything about game development, so I had no idea of how special that place was. And then worked there for several more years, kind of worked my way into kind of, you know, project direction and, you know, creative direction until 1998. I left and, and went to Harmonix Music Systems. So very shortly after I got to Harmonix, we sort of all looked at each other and said, well, maybe, maybe we should make music games. And so they gave us kind of a free hand to do what we wanted, and we built the first Guitar Hero. We thought it was good, we loved it, but we were not necessarily sure that it would be like a big hit, because we had already sort of been disappointed a few times. Uh, but then as soon as it, w it got out there, uh, they couldn't keep them in stock. You know, there just wasn't enough to go around. So we built the first two Guitar Heroes, and then uh, and then started working on Rock Band 1, where we added drums and bass and vocals and turned it into a, like a multiplayer party game. Uh, when that came out in 2007, it was like, it was a big deal, it was a big hit. Like families would play it, and it was big at like, you know, colleges and so forth. Like people would play it at Thanksgiving and Christmas. It was like this communal, com like musical coming together, and that was really satisfying. There's something about communal music. There's just this incredible emotional power about sort of like, all being sort of harnessed to the same, you know, the same outcome in, in real time, that you're all like, like making this thing together is, uh, I think that we're all sort of at our best selves when we're in that state. And that's certainly something that I took away from my band years. Like I loved it. I loved playing live. It was, it was fantastic. Uh, like it ended up being sort of emotionally meaningful to people in ways that we had not predicted. I think music to me is like the most mysterious art form. You know, is it, it's this mysterious thing that nobody can put their finger on, but matters to almost everybody. The experience that Guitar Hero and Rock Band created was really this experience of pretending to play other people's music, uh, which, which had a lot of value, but I had been convinced and remain convinced that a lot of the same design techniques and a lot of the same technology can be used to give people access to making their own music. Uh, and so at some point, um, about two years ago, you know, I parted ways with Harmonix just to focus on, uh, on this new venture, which is called Tonestone, uh, which is really not so much a game. It uses sort of game design techniques to teach people, but the idea is more welcoming people into an environment where they can create their own music and collaborate with other people to make music. So Tonestone is really this reflection of this impulse that I had all the way back in 1983 where I didn't know how to make music uh, and I had this sense that there must, be, there must be a way. But at this point, there's technology that makes it much easier. Making pop music is not really more complicated than playing Grand Theft Auto or Red Dead Redemption or Fallout or any of these kind of modern games. Um, and so I have this belief that if we can create the right tool set and embed gameplay into it, 
that people can have the same kind of experience, but they can make music and, and share that music, and that that would be like a rewarding experience for a ton of people. So I live up here with my wife, Gail, and we sort of carved out a very quiet life for ourselves. We dug a pond, which has been this interesting creative challenge, which is weirdly like software development. Things go wrong and you have to fix them and there's trial and error and the pond would leak. And so that's kind of part of my daily life now is I go out and uh, I clear the inlet uh, of like leaves and debris and so forth just to keep the pond full. Um, and then you have to kind of see what you have and learn from your mistakes and try again. And, and, and if you keep at it, you start to build up some success and you start to get someplace. Um, and that's kind of like, you know, what I've tried to do all along and that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to do something that is actually quite difficult, um, but I think I'm starting to get a handle on it. And so I'm hopeful that it'll be successful. It's like this was my path and uh, so far it's been a good one. <laughs>